Fortnite Battle Royale Playground Mode. Fortnite has its very own private match, so to speak. It's called Playground Mode. You can go in there with your buddies. You can fuck shit up on your own. I'm giving you all the information that I know, ladies and gentlemen. And then I'm going to be leaving you guys to watch some gameplay afterward. But just before we get into the video, guys, if you are new around here, just make sure you slap that subscribe button and like button. I know you've not even met me possibly yet, but just do it anyway because you're cool if you do. And you love your mum and dad. And if you don't, then I'm really sorry. But anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the first thing we'll get out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, is if you leave a marker on the map, on this custom match, this playground game mode, then it leaves a giant fucking beam in the sky and it looks sick. So if you store at the start of the video and you're like, what the fuck is that blue symbol, that blue shining light beaming above the ground, then that was me, that was me placing my marker. Now obviously, depending on what colour you are, it'll be varied, so if you're the colour red, it'll go red, yellow, obviously yellow, and blue, obviously blue. Pretty self-explanatory there, ladies and gentlemen. The materials you get, if you look at the materials I'm building now, I got a hundred fucking wood from just mining the fucking roof of our house. That's fucking mad, ladies and gentlemen. So, you get like quadruple the fucking amount of wood you get. There is only one downfall to this, though, ladies and gentlemen. One downfall. And that is you only get 50 mi or an hour mi per game. So, you don't, you can't go into a private match, into a playground lobby. And just sit there for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on end. It, it doesn't work like that, ladies and gentlemen. What you have to do is you get an hour. And then once your hour's up, you obviously get kicked out of the lobby. And then once you get kicked out of the lobby, you know, your time's up pretty much. The uh, good thing about it is, though, that if you're bored of just being shit on by fucking... By some, some of your friends, by anyone... Then you can just jump into this with a few buddies and shit on your buddies instead, which is quite nice. There has been some new things added in to this update. Obviously, one of them is the double pistols. Uh, they are pretty shite, to be honest, ladies and gentlemen. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I've also heard... I'm not sure if this is a rumour or whether this is fake, but there isn't any aim assist in this custom match. Um, I could be wrong, but... I'm not sure that there is any aim assist at all. Now, obviously, you guys might know that. So, if you do know that, drop it down in the comment section below. But, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, there have been a couple more things. There have been, There's a blockbuster event. You can also build a pro is in Save the World now. So, do you know, obviously, well, it's normal build a pro, ladies and gentlemen. So, for build a pro, you would uh, set the button. So, instead of, like, maybe R1 and R1 to shoot, you'd press B... Press R1 and R1, and then you'd obviously build. That is now in the PVE Save the World, which is, you know, pretty good. Uh, to celebrate the summer as well, uh, if you notice when I shot my grenade launcher, it was a bit fireworky. That that That's not a glitch, ladies and gentlemen. That is uh, legit shit. Um, that is part of, the, it's like a sort of celebration. For summer, I know you man, man loves summer. As you know, I went on holiday and shit, so I love my summer. Um, so that's a f that's a few bits covered. But on top of this, ladies and gentlemen, friendly fire is on. So obviously, when you're in this game mode, and it could be like uh, the way I would see it being used is a competitive game mode. So any of my Call of Duty fans out there know that obviously, when you go into a game mode, into an MLG match, it's all it's all in a custom game. You, you don't go into a private lobby, uh, into a public lobby, and then start fucking shooting shit up. It just doesn't work like that. So, I think this is how it's going to work, or something similar to that, ladies and gentlemen. I think that it would go from getting as many kills as you can into the normal lobby, in, in from, like, squads or solos or duos lobby, to trying to get maybe as many kills before the timer runs out in 50 minutes, or, you know, something similar to that, ladies and gentlemen. When you also respawn, I forgot to add this, I'll die in literally like 30 seconds, so it'll be all good. But when you die, you spawn on top. So I thought you would maybe re-jump out of the battle bus, you don't. What you end up actually doing, ladies and gentlemen, is you sort of skydive out. But not at 
the battle bus height, but a little bit lower, not not too much lower, obviously, otherwise you won't have time to deploy your parachute. Uh, there's probably, uh, the way I could suggest think about it is, like, building to max height, and then I think that's about where you drop from, or maybe building from max height and then jumping off a jump pad with that extra sort of, uh, you know, with that extra sort of boost. Players respawn on death unless killed by the storm, so obviously the only way to kill them is, well, by dying, and once they die, they'll obviously, unless they're killed by the storm, they'll all jump down. 100 llamas will be spawned in the map, so, do you know the llama? Well, obviously, when you fucking loot a llama, you get shitloads of fucking XP, fucking wood materials and all that. Well, that's doubled as well, ladies and gentlemen, so when you get all the wood from it, that will be essentially doubled. Hundred llamas, that's fucking insane, don't you think? Just just think about that for a second. A hundred llamas. Normally, we'd only get, you know, two or three in a whole entire game. You get one fucking hundred. So, if you were just going out searching for llamas, I mean, that would be pretty decent. But here, as you can see, I die with the double pistols. Uh, like I said, aren't that good. There's a respawn countdown, which is, you know, it is a bit shit. But chests and ammo boxes spawn 100% of the time. So do you know how like you drop and then there's a chest and it might be there, it might not be there. You know, sometimes you know, sometimes it lands there, sometimes it doesn't, and you're like, whoa, fuck me, I expected there a chest to be here, but there's not. That's a bit of shit. Chests will spawn in every location 100% of the time. That's what it means. So instead of like fucking you go into your favourite chest, for example, in Tilted Towers, and that motherfucker not be in there, it'll always be there, which is pretty good. So, that has been it really, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the dual pistols, I'll go into a bit of depth of that, are available in Epic and Legendary variants, so the gold and the purple. They can be found on the floor, like floor loot, chests and supply drops. Uh, I, I would personally, not, I, I mean, picking it up on the floor, that's a bit... That's like wow lucky, like it'll be almost probably as rare as a scar. Does not use first shot accuracy, so do you know how like it, your first shot's always a bit more accurate, always a bit more powerful? It's not like that at all, which is uh you know always pretty good. Um and it uses medium bullets, so the AR bullets that you use, it's like that. It's not uh, the little bullets you use for a normal pistol, which is pretty good. And then shoots both pistols with one pull of the trigger. So each time you pull, so do you know how like, for example, on Call of Duty, ladies and gentlemen, this is the only the best way I can think about it. On Call of Duty, where if you had machine, if you had pistols, you can't aim in, but you, if you left trigger, right trigger, left trigger, left trigger, right trigger, that will sort of enable both to shoot at the same time. This does it with one shot of the pit, the, the trigger. So you shoot it with once. And then it will shoot both pistols at the same time, which I think is not too bad. There are also going to be a couple of uh, little patches and updates. Uh, the removed for the tactical SMG, it's been removed for shot accuracy. Increased base accuracy by 25%. I'm just going to whiz through these because these are fucking boring as fuck. But I thought I'd put them in there anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Lowered the sprinting accuracy penalty by 15%. Lowered the ADS bonus by 10%. Increased damage by plus 2%. So, you got a couple of loads of cons there, but it's, it's, you know, damage is a bit better, so it might make up for it. Then we are, for the silenced SMG, increased accuracy base by 10%, increased ADS accuracy bonus by 20%, increased damage by plus 2. Shotgun ammo now drops in stacks of 4 instead of 5, which, I guess, it's, it's kind of nice, because the tactical shotgun, or the shotgun shoots in four bullets uh so i mean win-win i think there's actually one that does five i'm not sure maybe seven i don't know i don't fucking know but i'm not sure quite why they've done that but anyway grenade launcher visuals have been temporarily changed to shoot fireworks instead this is a cosmetic change only so I, i'm assuming this will be yeah it, it's temporarily changed which is you know it, it's only temporary so it won't last forever if you don't like it Boogie bombs, explosions, or boogie bombs, sorry, boogie, explosions are no longer blocked by vehicles, pretty good. Thermal scoped rifle is now consistently exhibited in tended accuracy while in scope. 
Cleaners can no longer stick to players through ceilings or floor. I didn't ever get that on my own. Spike traps have been placed on the ceiling. No longer damage players on the floor above, which I never experienced that myself as well. The thermal scoped rifle no longer highlights opened chests, which I only saw at closed chests. Never saw it with open chests. Weapons will no longer appear to fire while switching weapons under certain network conditions. Um... I think that th there's been a few issues with this as well, ladies and gentlemen. But that has been pretty much everything on this update cover. There's a few things that I miss. It's, that's just general shit, really. It's just boring shit. I wanted to bring you guys the gameplay first. I wanted to bring everything to you guys first and just sort of the main grasp of the update. So, if you did enjoy, ladies and gentlemen, and you are new around here and you just, you know, you fucking love me, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe and comment. With any fucking feedback down in the comment section below. I don't know why I said subscribe. But anyway. It doesn't fucking matter. This is Lukey. And I'm signing out. Peace.